love, 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 love. Well, hey there, folks, and welcome back to the depths of the World Wide Web. And I'm still up here. I'm in month two out of six of thousand miles away from my home where I am on location for my other... So as we do, I hit a cool little thrift shop last week. This one happened to be in a church, and I love, I love, 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 church sales. There's stores and churches, and when church sales, community yard sales, and because of the prices, either raising funds for charity or raising funds for the church, and they're basically just praying that you buy their stuff and take it off their hands. So tag along with me, which you have no choice if you're watching this. You, you, you don't get to opt out unless you stop watching this video, but I hope you don't. So let's see what I found at the church store. And we're off and I'm surrounded by three beautiful women. I'm not sure I can handle today's sale between all these beautiful women and these uh, amazing sales inside. The first thing I did see is this DVE rack looking for obscure titles. Always looking on Amazon and eBay for obscure titles. They seem to have the most value. Looking for games of all sorts, maybe some music, some CDs. I found these tapes. I've done a video extensively on tapes. Uh, I'll, I'll link it here in the top. I didn't pick these up. 50 cents is like the limit for what I would pay for these, but I did leave these behind. And then I find this, uh, I think this was 50 cents or a dollar, this Minecraft PS3 game. Fun little find. Didn't sell it for a lot. Uh, eight bucks plus shipping, so I made a few bucks on this. Found these three DVDs. I thought there was actually three of the same copy, but they're three different movies. They were asking all three for a dollar, which is great. Uh, I sold them for a little over $20 with shipping, so a fun little find. I found this vintage Power Ranger. Anything Power Ranger, I always look up, and this is from 1995. This is an old McDonald's toy, and uh, I can get about 20 bucks or so for it, so I was happy to take this home. I love finding old, uh, there's a lot of collectors out there for old popular toys. Found this, never heard of this, Nebish, Nebish's, it has some dates on the back from the 60s and 50s. I was actually shocked when I looked this up. They're going for 50 to 60 bucks for these things. Uh, so pretty good find that. There's also this ashtray inside. So 18 bucks for all this stuff and I made a great score over $100 on, on those things. Paper, anybody that's looking for paper, thrift stores are fantastic. I used to go to uh, dollar stores, thrift stores. You can get these things for 50 cents, 25 cents, maybe a dollar. And if you need packing paper, this is where to find it for cheap. Then I learned, recently I've learned on YouTube to look out for cookbooks, old cookbooks, some of them, depending on what they are, I've seen they can sell for hundreds of dollars for in some cases. These weren't obviously that great, but they are selling for $12, $15 individually. I'm going to lot these up. Uh, I paid 75 cents for each of these old ones here. So I'm going to lot them up and hopefully I can get like $20, $25. And that's a, a great little score. Not a lot, but there's just, you know, not much money invested into them. So happy to, to take those. Skin in the shoe rack, found these Adidas. Adidas obviously a great brand and these are colorful and bright and clean, all the things I look for and really well maintained, barely used, really great condition, five bucks. And uh, these were coming home with me. I'm um, hoping to get 30, 35 bucks for these. And then I found this, this is a new brand to me, Bear Paw. They're not worth as much as I anticipated after feeling and looking at the quality of things. They're, they're really nice. Uh, I think I can get like 25, 30 bucks for these, some, some there around there. I paid $8 for them. It's a little more than I would like to pay, but still make a little bit of money. I found this little jar or this little bucket of uh, different, I'm looking for Vera Bradley, maybe Kate Spade, uh, possibly some old coach bags. Didn't find any of those, but I did find a new brand to me, Ann Klein. I've seen other resellers talk about Incline in the past. Not super high value, but this is a vintage little bag, a uh, little purse. Only $2.50 and it's new with tags. So I think I can get about 20 bucks for it. So a few bucks here and there. Um, I think it's a great little find. And stick around to the end of this video because I do have a really good pro tip coming at you. And also, this is what I went into TJ Maxx for. And I came out with two full bags of clearance sales. I had a fantastic reminder of something that I often forget, something that I used to do a lot of and I don't do it as often because I just don't need to. However, it's something that I even forget to talk about when people are asking me questions. But I definitely think it's useful information for people to know and sometimes I forget to even think of it when I am talking or answering people's questions about 
where to find inventory. Oftentimes, especially here, I'm talking about thrift stores and garage sales and estate sales and auctions. Those are my four main avenues. But one thing that I don't talk about much that I have done over the past 10 years is I still go into retail stores. Now, some people have heard of, you know, the term is retail arbitrage. When you go into clearance sales, such as like Walgreens, Walmarts, Targets, all these giant retail chains, Home Depot, you can find YouTube has tons of resellers that are going into these stores and just looking at the clearance sales. And that's a fantastic way to do it. This past week, I went into TJ Maxx here to get my dog some tasty treats. This is what I went into TJ Maxx for. And I came out with two full bags of clearance sales. And I found some really amazing stuff, specifically stuff that I'm gonna be selling on Amazon as it's brand new. So I found two of these puzzles. They were on sale, clearance down to five bucks. And three of these, marked down, clearance sale, five bucks. Six of these, marked down, three bucks. Cosmos is a good brand to keep an eye out for. And then same thing, I found nine more of this other game. This was actually a little bit cheaper. They were all marked down to two bucks. So I found this polar plate is marked down to 39 bucks. It's a little bit pricey, but as you can see, I'm going to double my money and double my money and double my money on this sucker right here. So I walked in for dog treats and walked out with dog treats and Kyle treats. And the whole point of bringing that up is I just wanted to highlight that there are opportunities for inventory at all times, even at the supermarket and grocery store. When I'm shopping for groceries, I'm looking at the clearance section. You can find stuff there. I find stuff in any store you go to. It always has clearance sales. So you can always be sourcing. Anytime I go anywhere, my friend's house, my girlfriend's house, my brother's house, my grandma's house, my mom's house, anybody's house, I'm always looking at what's in their house that I want to sell. Where they see their belongings, where they see stuff that they care about, I see profits. So anytime you're out anywhere, just keep an eye. Look at the clearance sections. You're, you're already going to a store. While you're there, it's worth just checking the clearance section out because you never know what might be there. It's just simply amazing how many opportunities there are out there. Something that I've learned, one of the hidden benefits or one of the unspoken perks of being an online reseller besides these perky nipples is getting out and seeing and discovering new places and going on roads that I might not drive down, going to cities or towns that I might not otherwise have visited. They're so off grid or off the typical routes or highways that you might travel on and just seeing all the cool stuff on the shelves so many things tens of thousands hundreds of thousands eventually in a lifetime millions of items that I, that i may have never even seen or known about so we're wrapping up the video there i appreciate you watching i hope you learned something i sure did if you're wondering why i'm always wearing the same clothes i'm wondering that too but i uh, can promise you i'm not wearing pants i appreciate you guys and hope to see you guys out in the wilds